Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our chronological Bible reading. I'm Ray Reynolds, the minister of the Somerville Church of Christ. We're in the book of Jeremiah. Today, we're going to focus on chapters 46 and 47. So I want to encourage you to open up your Bible, follow along as we read, and make some notes as well so you can come back and study it again at another time. Chapter 46. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet against the nations, against Egypt, concerning the army of Pharaoh, Necro, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates and Carchemish, and which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, defeated in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Order the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses and mount up, you horsemen. Stand forth with your helmets. Polish the spears. Put on the armor. Why have I seen them dismayed and turned back? Their mighty ones are beaten down. They have speedily fled and did not look back. For fear was all around, says the Lord. Do not let the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. They will stumble and fall toward the north by the river Euphrates. Who's coming up like a flood? Whose waters move like the rivers? Egypt rises up like a flood, and its waters move like the rivers. And he says, I will go up and cover the earth. I will destroy the city and its inhabitants. Come up, O horses, and rage, O chariots, and let the mighty men come forth. The Ethiopians and Libyans who handle the shield and the Lydians who handle the bend of the bow. For this is the day of the Lord, God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge himself on all his adversaries. The sword shall devour. It shall be satur saturated and made drunk with blood. For the Lord, God of hosts, has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up to Gilead and take balm. O virgin, the daughter of Egypt, in vain you will use many medicines. You shall not be cured. The nations have heard of your shame, and your cry shall fill, has filled the land. For the mighty man has stumbled against the enemy. They both have fallen together. The word of the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, would come and strike the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt, and proclaim in Migdal, proclaim in Noph, and in Taphanes, Say, that stand fast and prepare yourselves, for the sword devours all around. Why are your valiant men swept away? They did not stand, because the Lord drove them away. He made many fall. Yes, one fell upon another. And they said, Arise, let us go back to our own people and to the land of our nativity from the oppressing sword. They cried there, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, but his annoyance has passed by the appointed time. As I live, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains and as Carmel by the sea, so he shall come. O you daughter dwelling in Egypt, prepare yourself to go into the captivity. For Noph shall be waste and desolate without inhabitant. Egypt is a pretty, very pretty heifer, but destruction comes, it comes from the north. And her mercenaries are in her midst like fat bulls, for they also are turned back, for they have flood, fled away together. They did not stand, for the day of their calamity had come upon them, the time of their punishment. Her noise shall go like a serpent, for they shall march with an army and come against her with axes like those who chop wood. They shall cut down her forests, says the Lord, though it cannot be searched, because they are innumerable and more numerous than grasshoppers. And daughter of Egypt uh, shall be ashamed. She shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel says, Behold, I will bring punishment on Ammon uh, of No and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods and their kings, Pharaoh and those who trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those who seek their lives, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and the head of, a hand of his servants. Afterward, it shall be inhabited as in the days of old, says the Lord. But do not fear, O my servant Jacob, and do not be dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save you from afar and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return, have rest and be at peace. No one shall make him afraid. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, says the Lord, for I am with you. For I will make a complete end of all the nations to which I have driven you. But I will not make a complete end of you. I will rightly correct you, for I will not leave you wholly unpunished. Chapter 47. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, against the Philistines before Pharaoh attacked Gaza. Thus says the Lord, Behold, waters rise out of the north, 
and shall be an over, overflowing flood. They shall overflow the land and all that is in it, the city and those who dwell within. Then the men of the city shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall wail at the noise of the stamping hooves of his strong horses, at the rushing of his chariots, at the rumbling of his wheels. The fathers will not look back for their children, lacking courage, because of the day that comes to plunder to all the Philistines, to cut off from Tyre and Sidon every helper who remains. For the Lord shall plunder the Philistines, the remnant of the country of Kaphtor. Baldness has come upon Gaza. Escalon is cut off with the remnant of their valley. How long will you cut off? O oh, you sword of the Lord, how long until you're quiet? Put yourself up into a, your scabbard. Rest and be still. How can it be quiet? Seeing the Lord has given it a charge against Eshkelon and against the seashore. There he has appointed it. We're so grateful you joined us today for this time of Bible reading. As we continue reading in the book of Jeremiah, we just have a few more chapters left. But I hope that you will continue to uh, tune in, and I pray that you'll be here again tomorrow. Uh, until the next time, have a blessed day.